In this quick tip video, we're gonna talk about how to set up a condenser microphone in an audio interface and use them to record in GarageBand. You'll start by simply plugging in a USB cable into the back of your audio interface. Then you'll take the other end of the cable and plug it into an available port in your computer or laptop. Once you've done this, the power light on your audio interface should come on, letting you know that it's ready to go. After that, you'll plug your microphone into the microphone input on your audio interface. And be sure to engage the 48V or phantom power button if you're using a condenser microphone. This gives power to your condenser microphone and without it, no sound will come through. Now that you have your audio interface and your microphone set up, it's time to sync it to GarageBand. You'll start by creating a new track and selecting the microphone icon. Then, at the bottom of this window, you need to tell GarageBand that your microphone is connected with your audio interface. By default, GarageBand makes your input device your built-in microphone, so you want to make sure that you've selected your audio interface instead of the built-in microphone. Then, if you want to, you can tell GarageBand how you want to hear sound come out of GarageBand. By default, your output device is your built-in speakers. Changing your output device to your audio interface allows you to plug in over-the-ear headphones and use them for listening and recording. Once you have your settings where they need to be, simply hit Create. And lastly, make sure you engage the monitor button if you want to hear yourself singing while you record. And now, you're ready to record high-quality music in GarageBand using your audio interface and your condenser microphone. So go have some fun with this.